What's going on Chavez Slovakia? It is your boy Chavez here. My cat is just on one today, man. Jesus Christ. Hey cat. Who'd you lose, buddy? Did you guys can you guys see him jumping through here? Hi. You don't wanna come on camera? Ashton, you've been tripping today, bro. What's wrong? Is somebody at our door and we don't know it. He usually runs in here when somebody comes to the door. He doesn't really like people that much. I think that's why I like him so much. We both hate people. I think he even hates me. Yeah, I know, the setup looks nice, huh? Checking out my new stuff. Feel better now? Have I bothered you? Nope, she's gonna lay right here. Okay. <laughs> Today we are here to do something uh, that I find fun. And this is the funniest things found in textbooks. Now, when if you're anything like me, you spend a lot of time in school not reading the textbook that they actually give you uh, to study. I don't know if I ever really finished a textbook from start to finish, but maybe this will give you some motivation to do that when you guys have to go back in into school. This is in a German textbook. Turn, please stop pushing, wait your turn. Risk, at your own risk. Hugh ran the risk of being arrested by the police. I promise I won't take any risks. Trouble, Audrey got in trouble with her family when they found out she was seeing a black man. Holy gee! <laughs> got into trouble with her family when they found out she was seeing a black man. Oh, shit. Audrey got in trouble with her family when they found out she was seeing a black man. What the fuck? That's, that's fucking awful. Right, number two. Should you say nine and five is 13 or nine and five are 13? Nine and five. You mean addition? Nine and five, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I was about to say, am I fucking up right now? <laughs> it, it's, it's 14, the answer is 14, not 13. It's nine and five, is it, is or are? Now I don't know the grammar part either. I think it's nine and five is 13. It's 14, not 13. Nine and five is 14. What the fuck, turtle? Oh, they did the thing for us already. So this is a dump truck, and the dump truck is picking up a body. You know what? When people ask you, why do I need math in my real life? This is why. This is really what it's for. This is for murder. If you learn these math equations, you too can kill a person and maybe get away with it. <laughs> Michael Phelps. This is, a, this is a depiction, if you don't know how female eggs are fertilized and what sperm looks like when you zoom in real close. First known photo of Olympic swimming champion Michael Phelps. He's a, he's a strong swimmer, man. <laughs> that's just mother's uterus. That's not, that's not, that's not comfortable at all. Why do I have to read this book if I want to go to college? Good question. The answer is you don't. You can choose not to read this book, have a nervous breakdown halfway through the SAT from which you never quite recover despite decades of psychiatric care, see all of your several marriages end in bitter divorce at the cost of your every penny you made as a mediocre professional bowler <laughs> until your life is cut short by an agonizing disease from which they find a cure a week after no one comes to your funeral. <laughs> that was the most savage, most destructive conversation about going to college I have ever read. <laughs> In the before we begin, do you have fears? Do you have paralyzing, terrifying fears? Well, don't worry. Read this book and we'll solve them all for you. Oh my God, that's fucking awful. Holy shit, a week after nobody comes to your funeral. God damn it. Bonjour, people having relations in that bush. <laughs> yeah, learn how to say bonjour. So when you find people having sex in bushes, you can call them out for it. My girlfriend was trying to teach me how to say potato in uh, French. I haven't quite mastered that yet, but when I do, I'll be saying that just as much as I say bruja in my videos to laugh. So off we go. That is fucking funny. That shit right there is funny. What's funny is the dude is like looking down to shame. The girl's like looking directly at this lady like boop, boop, boop. What's up, lady? 
Does anybody see anything wrong with this photo? I know I just asked the why is over and over again. See Egypt there? Let's just, for shits and giggles, let's just, uh, just go ahead and look this up just for anybody who's wondering how off this is. Okay, see the difference here? You see that there? See what that is right there? And then you see this right here? Huh? Anybody? Anybody see a difference here? <laughs> Atlantic Ocean, Pacific Ocean. <laughs> you think maybe they might have gotten these things confused? <laughs> they just, they just put Egypt where where Venezuela should be. Is that is that how this works now? <laughs> what the fuck? Why did they do that? They don't even look alike like that. They look distinctly different. South America and Africa look extremely different. You know what? We gotta just move on from the Brazil thing. I don't think that I can take it. I literally just left the computer for a couple minutes to try to fix how tilted my glasses were because it's triggering me right now and I just don't think I can handle it much longer. I think I just made it worse. But we're moving on from the Egypt thing. It's not in South America, okay? Don't be too specific talking about the Atlantic, all right? That's how you should remember that. If you see the Pacific Ocean to the left of Egypt, it's not in the right fucking place, okay? It's that simple. Revising. List as many words or phrases as you can that mean the same as pretty, hot, fast, dirty, wet, and easy. That got really sexual the more you went down the list. Pretty, hot, fast, dirty, wet, and easy. Oh my goodness. That is so dirty. Working out with writing. Man, this seems like you're trying to pick somebody up. Well, I know a girl or a guy who is pretty hot, fast, wet, and easy. <laughs> Enter Muscle Man from the regular show. My mom! Psh, that's awful. That's just awful. Year 12 English. E-N-G-L-I-S-H. English. They don't have an I in English. Have some type of... Some type of dwarven spelling of English. Year 12 English. My nigga, y'all fucked that up. That's actually bad. How do you write an English book and don't know how to spell the word English? That is just, that's, that is step one. Okay, compare the odds. You will be killed in an air crack. One in four million. You will die in a fire. One in 40,000. You will die in a car crash. One in 125. Driving a car is still the most dangerous way to travel. It's just like when you read these, you know something's wrong with them. You could be killed in an air crash, which is just, that just sounds funny. Not airplane crash, just air crash. Just air crash. Just in the air, you crash. And then it, you will die in a fire. Flame on! That's the only way that you're traveling with fire. What are you talking about? Driving a car is still the most dangerous way to travel. Why didn't you just put in like literally anything else that is a way of travel? How many people die in bike accidents? I don't know, just fire is not a way that we travel. You travel in fire. It's not it's how that works, man. You fucked that up. <laughs> well prepared cat. Yeah, that's right. When in doubt, make sure you bring yourself up. A parachute. I don't know why this cat has a parachute. It's cute though. Uh, maybe we could do this part with the the Nye Cat theme song. I don't know if you can download this or from Dancing to Nothing. If I'm dancing to nothing, then just imagine the Nye Cat theme song while this parachute cat flies around the screen. Does that work? All right. Well, if he comes down out of the sky, then that's how we'll start the segment. We'll start the segment with the cat coming down out of the sky. Okay, and that is a well prepared cat. Chavez Slovakia. That definitely looks like, I forget what that, that motion's called, where you draw a hand in more than one spot, like as it's moving, but it definitely looks like he's uh, jerking it. Looks like he's telling the guy to, to fuck off. And, and his face says, don't fuck with me, bro. <laughs> if you saw that face in traffic, you would actually not fuck with this dude after he did that. He'd be like, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> what the fuck? I think it's time for a break. Things are beginning to get a bit dull. So a guy goes to see his doctor. The doctor evaluates the patient and says, I have bad news. You have Alzheimer's disease and you have cancer. Well, God damn. Well, God damn. The guy looks back at the doctor and says, 
At least I don't have all time. Oh my god. Oh my god, why is that in a textbook? <laughs> why is that in a textbook? <laughs> if y'all made that joke around me, I would I would tell you that is wrong. I would say that is wrong. You shouldn't say that. <laughs> but at least Doctor says you have Alzheimer's and cancer, and the man replies, "Well, at least I don't have Alzheimer's." Uh, that's so sad. And then the next sentence says, "Okay, let's get back to business after that terrible joke." Jesus Christ! Oh my God, you can't say that. Be cautious. What do you do in these situations? Oh no! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! That is a man exposing himself to a child in a textbook. How often does that happen where these people are from where they need to put this shit in a textbook? Why do you need to teach people what to do? It's like that Paul Blart uh, movie where the whole issue is that they have a dude who's walking around flashing people in the movie. What the fuck is going on here? What do you tell your kids? I'm gonna give my kid a taser. If we got a dude walking around flashing people, my kid's gonna have one of them tasers, one of them gun tasers, and just shoot it. Teach him how to shoot it right at his ball sack. Destroy his life. End his shit, son. 100,000 volts right in the nads. Not my kid. Fuck that. Well, that got terrifying. One, two, three, all fine. Three, four, five, all fine. Five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten on one hand? Why didn't you just bring another hand into the equation, man? Why is it the same hand growing more fingers? Just, just bring another, just do this, you know, that, and then do that. You see that? That's easy. What, what is that? I'll just do cat hair in there, I'm in there, because my cat's like bothering me right now. Why, why did you just keep adding fingers to the same hand? That's not good. That is actually not good, man. <laughs> This is not in a textbook. I think we are definitely at a different one. But uh, yeah, that's his next list. Okay, fantastic. Well, Chavez Slovakia, thank you guys for rolling through. That was actually really enjoyable. Thank you for sending the link through my way. I appreciate it. They said, yo, man, you got you should do some more of these because they were funny. And I agree with you. I actually agree with you. I think that was funny too. I'll see you in the next one, guys. God damn it. Which one was your favorite one? Because my favorite one found in this textbook is definitely between the fire being the least dangerous, the second least dangerous way to travel according to this diagram one of fire being a less dangerous way to travel than a car and the pretty hot fast dirty and wet and easy the pretty the pretty hot fast dirty wet and easy just my mom just <laughs> i'll see you guys in the next one shop in slovakia peace